So how easy is it to create a chart in Dynamic CRM? Well, as it turns out, it's, it's pretty easy. First of all, there are a number of built-in charts. So I'm here looking at my opportunity records inside of Dynamic CRM right now, and I can just pop open the chart pane on the right-hand side, and I get a view of my currently active chart. And I might want to choose a different chart, such as the sales pipeline. Everyone likes to see a funnel. And just like that, I'm interacting with charts that are built right into the user interface. I can also interact with these charts, so I can click on a, a phase of the funnel in this case, and I'm actually drill into different parts of the sales funnel as I click around on that. So very easy to interact with and create charts on the fly. I can also filter the records here in CRM if I want to, and as I filter them, the chart itself will update in real time to reflect whatever records I'm looking at. So back to our original question, how do I create a new chart inside of Dynamic CRM? Well, there's a five simple step process to do that. First of all, I'll start by going over here to the Charts tab. I'm going to go ahead and create a new chart as step two. Step three, I'm going to select the type of chart I want. Everyone likes a pie chart, so that's what I'm going to create. And I want this to be focused on the opportunity field. I want a count of opportunities, and I'd like to get that count by owner. Okay, so there we go. Not a particularly interesting chart. Uh, but we can update it again in just a few minutes. So the chart was named for me, Opportunity by Owner. That's okay, but I want to change it to just Owner Pie Chart. And I can save and close it. And just like that, I've created a new chart inside of Dynamic CRM. So I can choose a different filter to make this a little more interesting. So I'm going to come in here into Outlook. I'm going to say, let's see all closed opportunities. The other one was my opportunities. I knew all those belonged to me. And just like that, now I have a nice pie chart that shows me that I have five opportunities that are closed. John Fries has three opportunities that are closed. And I can interact with this chart to drill into it to see the related data in the grid next to me. I can also build dashboards just about as easily. Same, or maybe not exactly the same, but a five-step process also. So to start with, I can go to the dashboard that I want to edit. And in this case, I've created my own dashboard called Jeff Sales Dashboard. And I already have this chart in here, but we'll go show how we can just edit to have added this if it weren't here in the first place. So I go to this chart. And uh, let's just go ahead and remove it. And now we will add that chart back in. So we're going to go ahead and say, let's insert a new chart. This chart is going to be based on opportunities. And uh, I want it to be all open opportunities in this case. And I want it to be my owner pie chart. And I'll click OK. And just like that, it moves the chart in here for me. I can move this around to wherever I want to in the user interface to have it show up in just the right part of the application to give me the data I want laid out just the way that I want to see it. And when I'm done, I can save and close that. And just like that, I now have a revised dashboard with a chart embedded directly into it that I want to see, and I can interact with this chart in all the ways that I like to be able to interact with my chart.